Welcome to Talking Transfers here on Live Score, where the big story is that Philippe Coutinho could be in line for a return to the Premier League and a reunion with Steven Gerrard at Aston Villa, Dean. This is big. Yeah, it is. I mean, Coutinho is determined to come back to, to English football. Um, he's looking for another new lease of life. He's, he's moved to Barcelona, has obviously not gone anywhere close to how he would have liked or have expected it to. Um, and now it's been a case of sounding out, to be honest, half the Premier League to discover if there was any route for him back. And there, there have been a few bites. There's been a few clubs that are interested. But right now, Aston Villa are in the driving seat. Um, a lot of this is going to come down to... Uh, whether Barcelona are willing to pay almost all of his wages, to be honest, his his, transfer, uh, his uh, wages at Barcelona are astronomical. You know, getting towards the four hundred grand a week mark, um, that's not going to happen at almost any other club in the world right now because of the climate we we live in. But Aston Villa, if it can open up, would love him, and obviously Steven Gerrard, a, a guy that knows him very well. Aston Villa are a very rich club. They have a lot of money. Um, that said, I suppose with Barcelona signing Ferran Torres, they need to register him. They need to make space in the wage budget for Ferran Torres to come in. Now, it might not be the best long-term option in the world, but if Villa come in and offer to take, I don't know, 20, 20 25% of his wages mm. on a loan deal, Barcelona almost certainly might have to accept that if they want to register Ferran. Yeah, obviously, like Barcelona have got other priorities of their own and they need to sort out their season over the next few months. So... Um, you can't buy Ferran Torres and not play him. So they, they've got to find a way, a, a way around that. And getting rid of Coutinho makes sense because he's not in the plans. Um, for Coutinho, it really is, though, about finding the right project and finding the right role. So having Gerard as, as a manager would be a great start because it's a guy who knows how to get the best out of him. I guess one flaw might be the fact that Gerard remembers a different version of Coutinho. Mm. And I'm not sure that Coutinho is that same player now. I mean, do we expect him to, to light up a, a front three? Do we expect Coutinho to these days play a little bit deeper? I'm not sure exactly what he is, if I'm honest with you. I think we've tried him wide at Barcelona. It didn't really work. Didn't you, work. Know, you pushed him back into the centre in that 10 role that he played for Liverpool. And I think that's maybe the spot that he has Probably to Probably will have to be, won't it? That More said, they spent a lot of money in the summer on Emi Buendia. And if Buendia, you know, likes to play wide right and you've got Leon Bailey who can play that left-hand side role. So there is a scope to go sort of 4-2-3-1 with Coutinho as the 10. But it's not been what Gerrard's done I thought Villa were prioritising, to be honest, more of a defence-minded midfielder because they've got injury problems in there right now. And, and I thought that that was, would be the, the way they would go before they came to this kind of player. I guess, though, you could say opportunities to sign a player of this quality don't come along very often. So if they've got the feeling that they're going to get him at a very, very good fee um, and not have to pay that much in wages, then it might be a fantastic chance. I mean, the, the kind of teams that are competing with them right now, um, I know Liverpool's been spoken about as a potential. That, that's not going to happen. They, they've moved beyond Coutinho. Um, Everton, I, I don't really see that opening up right now. That they've got financial difficulties of their own. They've got other areas of the field that they, they need to fix. Um, and Newcastle, obviously, is going to be spoken about because Newcastle are linked with any player that's available right now, to be honest, probably are interested. And then Arsenal, Arsenal's an interesting one as well, particularly as Kia Jurabchian, um has a lot of fingerprints over um, Arsenal's transfer business and, and would be looking to get involved in this too. So... That's why that's been there. I don't see Arsenal going down this route either right I'm now. Very surprised. There have been a lot of success with yeah. hungry, young driven, players. young players, and I don't think this fits that. So Aston Villa do have an opportunity here to sign Coutinho if they want to press through with it. Maybe, it, maybe it'll give them an edge in the second half of the season. Well, look, they can look at what James Rodriguez came in and did at Everton last season, right? They look at that and go, there was a little bit of trepidation about what Hammers would bring to the Premier League, whether mm. he was going to be capable. Um, and he came in and was excellent for long spells. Now, obviously, it hasn't worked out long term. Yeah. But in a short term deal, as this would be to begin with, at the very least, it doesn't feel like that much of a risk. Yeah, you know, maybe do a short from, term. Maybe do a short term. Aside from upsetting squad balance, which would be my big concern with it, does that feel like a, a sensible manoeuvre? I, I don't mind it. I don't mind it. I'll be, I'll be interested to see how it works out. Well, it'll be interesting to see if it goes through at all. Philippe Coutinho back in the Premier League, reunited with Steven Gerrard at Aston Villa. I don't think anyone saw that one coming. We'll be keeping an eye on all things transfers here on Live School.